Hello everyone, Mr. Moving On here. Right here in front of us is my solar dehydrator from a couple years ago. Uh, the one with the big glass door in it. Uh, sorry about the darkness, it's right at the edge of dark here. But what I have in here right now is mushrooms. I have them ready to catch the first morning sun. Right here. I don't know if you can see it. Is the thermometer. Right now it's telling me it's 50 degrees in there. And I just put the lid back on it. So. With the weather we're supposed to be having. The next few days. Um, should do a good job of drying these out. This will get up to almost 200 degrees with the glass in it. If I keep it turned in the. As long as I have clear skies and got the sun on it. I'll keep this turned in the sunlight. Uh, usually I turn it about three times a day. I uh, need to on the first round where it gets most of the moisture out of them. Now these mushrooms are sliced kind of thick so I didn't put it, them down as heavy as I normally would. Usually like if I'm drying onions or something these are so thick that uh, you can't even see the screen that they're on. But by the time they're dry you'd wonder how come I didn't put so much on there. So, that is how small they will shrink. They won't even be recognizable as mushrooms. But soak them for 24 hours before use and they are terrific. A little leathery but terrific. Now, on this little dehydrator right here, right now I've got some old bread in it. Uh, drying it out for preserving it for, I'm going to give him, uh, J. Noel Zero uh, ladies. We get a bunch of it and we take it out there to them and they get to feast. We also dry some other stuff, but right now I've got to put in there some bread. And this box does a great job. That bread was put in there this, earlier this afternoon and it is already dry. Let me give you a quick snapshot of it here. Oh, here we go. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, not completely dry. It's still a little moist. But there it is. Tomorrow, after tomorrow's light, they will be good to go. They will go in a bag and wait till our next visit out there. This one here needs a little bit of work to help keep bugs out of it, but uh, so far I haven't had any problems with them. So until then, I'll give you an update on it. There's my protectors right here. I don't know if you can see them, but there's Darwin. Oh, what? And Delilah just ran off. All right. So we'll get back to you. Thank you very much. Hey ladies and gentlemen, it was uh, Tuesday night that I'd put the mushrooms in the dehydrator and this is now Thursday afternoon. Alright at this time on our thermometer we are at 90, 96 degrees. But if you remember how full these shells looked with the mushrooms on it, if you can see them now like a third less of the space there we go now I'll give you a big view of this box there it is stands about 6'2 6'3 uh, 36 inches wide there's a couple legs hold it on there and got three different vent holes that I've got Two of them blocked, leave the one open, and you can really feel the heat that comes out of there. For the fresh air, I got most of it blocked up at the moment, but it is right down here on the bottom. If you can get a good shot of it or see it or not, they are right here. So, air in. Air out, metal screen. I could always put wax paper or something down on them if I need to. Then eight shelves. That's pretty good. Holds quite a bit too. But these mushrooms will be able to be ready to come out later today. Get them in a jar and vacuum them up. But there's the update on them. Just a couple days with some good heat, good sunlight. I usually get lucky enough I put food in there and I get clouded for three days. <laughs> so I always have to watch it. 
All right, there's our update on them. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, Mr. Moving On here. Uh, update on those potatoes that I'd planted in the wash tubs. As you can see, they are big and pretty. Okay, this one here didn't, most of them didn't grow or as of yet, they are still trying. What I'm getting ready to do, throw me some straw down in it, fill them up probably about halfway with straw, maybe a little more. Then I'm going to take some of my compost and put down on top of that. Allow the plants to grow up through all that and yet still yet make the potatoes in between all of that into the rest of the tub. In theory anyway. So we're going to hope it works and we will keep you updated on that. And thank you for your attention. Bye. Hello everyone. Mr. Moving On here with my wonderful tools that you see laying right here and these strips that I cut not very wide, just a little over half an inch. I took my planter boxes and built bird netting cages to go over them. Now, not only to keep the birds out, I had this other problem. Since they're right here in front of my porch, I had cat and dogs jumping down into them, so I had to do something. Papa? But just a minute, my little helper. So, my little helper today and I finished these up finished building these and getting the bird netting on them right down here we still have our greenhouse going with strawberries raspberries and blueberries and they are doing very well right now this one here is sweet potatoes um, hopefully get some slips off of them mainly and this one right now is just holding my garlic seeds um, not sure what we're getting ready to plant it in. Maybe the beets in this one. Or, um, yeah, beets. Right down this fence line, I can't, uh, you can't see them yet, but the peas are starting to sprout. I was down there digging out some dandelions and seeing them. So, as we get further along, as this gets further along, we will keep you informed. I am also going to plant some turnips in there. Tell them hi. Well, tell them. Hi. Say hi, everyone out there. Hi, everyone out there. Now say bye bye because we've got, go, we got other things to do. I really tell them something too. Well, what are you going to tell them? Hurry. Um, um, uh, me and Papa's helper. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, thank you for your attention. <laughs>